Atita Pariyaya Sutta, The Fire Sermon, translated from the Pali by Yana Muli Tera. Thus I heard, on one occasion the Blessed One was living at Gaya at Gaya Sisa, together with a thousand pikus. There he addressed the pikus. Pikus, all is burning. And what is the all that is burning? The eye is burning. Forms are burning. Eye consciousness is burning. Eye contact is burning. Also, whatever is felt as pleasant or painful, or neither painful nor pleasant, that arises with eye contact for its indispensable condition, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust, with the fire of hate, with the fire of delusion. I say it is burning with birth, aging, and death, with sorrows, with lamentations, with pains, with griefs, with despairs. The ear is burning, sounds are burning, the nose is burning, odors are burning, the tongue is burning, flavors are burning, the body is burning, tangibles are burning, the mind is burning, ideas are burning, mind consciousness is burning, mind contact is burning. Also, whatever is felt as pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant that arises with mind contact for its indispensable condition, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust, with the fire of hate, with the fire of delusion. I say it is burning with birth, aging, and death with sorrows, with lamentations, with pains, with griefs, with despairs. Pikus, when a noble follower who has heard the truth sees thus, he finds estrangement in the eye, finds estrangement in forms, finds estrangement in eye consciousness, finds estrangement in eye contact, and whatever is felt as pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant that arises with eye contact for its indispensable condition, in that too he finds estrangement. He finds estrangement in the ear, in sounds. He finds estrangement in the nose, in odors. He finds estrangement in the tongue, in flavors. He finds estrangement in the body, in tangibles. He finds estrangement in the mind finds estrangement in ideas, finds estrangement in mind consciousness, finds estrangement in mind contact, and whatever is felt as pleasant or painful, or neither painful nor pleasant, that arises with mind contact for its indispensable condition, in that too he finds estrangement. When he finds estrangement, passion fades out. With the fading of passion, he is liberated. When liberated, there is knowledge that he is liberated. He understands birth is exhausted. The holy life has been lived out. What can be done is done. Of this, there is no more beyond. That is what the Blessed One said. The Pikus were glad and they approved his words. Now during his utterance, the hearts of those thousand pikus were liberated from taints through clinging no more.